I'm gonna. <laughs> so welcome to Fat Pigeon Audio Reviews. My name is Gareth, and today we are looking at this. We've been very lucky. I'm so excited. We have the Fine Audio F18 on the channel, on my little channel. Now this is. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's exciting. Well, let's go through the specs. Let's go through the specs. So it has an eight inch um, Isoflare driver on it. Now, obviously, Fine Audio's Isoflare. I love their speakers. I love the Isoflare speaker. But so this has got the eight inch version of the Isoflare on it. It's a point source system. It's a point source speaker. No separate tweeter, no separate drivers. It all comes from this focal point here, the point, this source here. It's got a 25 mil magnesium compressed dome tweeter set back within the mid-range driver. It has this little, this little lip, the rubber housing, the rubber actually the, where the movement of the driver is. It has these little notches out of it. It's not just for aesthetics, that's not. That actually gets rid of any unwanted mechanical energy within the driver itself. Now, these are a big chunky boy speaker. These weigh 15.2 kilos each, 33.5 pounds in American weight. Um, so they're heavy, they're chunky, but they're big. And then they need that weight. They just have this presence about them. For a bookshelf speaker, they're big. And I love the fact that they're this size. So it has a frequency response of 33 Hertz. It gets low to 34,000 Hertz. So it's got, it's a full range speaker. This driver is, it's a full range driver in it. And it's 91 decibels as well, which surprised me with the size and everything else and the performance you get from these. I thought it would be a bit, a bit more power hungry. Um, it's also only 8 ohms as well. I thought there might be 6 or 4 with a speaker of this size. But I was wrong. They're 8 ohms, 91 decibels. So most normal modern amplifiers. I've got the Arkham SA10. It drove them beautifully. I'm actually running them here on the Icon Audio Stereo 40 as well. Just for that extra bit of warmth and richness. Um, I had to try it with a valve amp, I had to try it with the SA10. Well, I, I say I had to, <laughs> there's two amps that I've got access to at the moment. So the SA10 is the integrated solid state amplifier to see how it ran with those. And then with the actual uh, valve amp as well. Now, the valve amp gives it that little bit more, a li just a scotch more on the warmth and the richness and the musicality, just more from strings and things. But we'll get back to that. We'll get back to the sound quality in a few moments. So this little dial here, this is the presence control. Uh, and you can add and plus. Now, what it actually says on the web, it gives adjustment to the two and a half thousand to five thousand hertz range. Just for positioning in your room. It's a very subtle, very subtle difference, but it might gain you. I mean, I've kept it in the middle because um, that's what sort of worked best for my room. Um, a, fair, a nice balance between the two. But you can, like I say, you can add or, or minus this sort of correction just for what, what's in your room at home. So you, you do have a little bit of adjustment for positioning the speakers. It's only very subtle though. I mean, very subtle, but it may help within your environment, within your room, what you've got in your room with furnishings, things like that. As you can see, they're a bigger, larger stand mount speaker. And that's sort of due to obviously all the or whatever's going on inside here. But it's got this solid plinth at the bottom, aluminium plinth, with these beautiful aluminium legs, which just give it that inch and a half. Just raise it off this bed here, off this plinth, so the actual bass track system can do its job. It's got down-firing bass port, which spreads the sound 360 degrees around. So they're quite nice to position in your room. They're not rear-ported, so you get all this boom and this bloat from them. They just disperse it, the bass, beautifully out of the bottom here. And it really comes through with that, the sound, the bass texture from these. Now they have this beautiful walnut veneer. Now I think they're made up of different types of hard wood with inside the speaker itself to actually make the cabinet. But then it's finished in this beautiful walnut, polished, gloss walnut. And it's real walnut veneer around the edges. And it has the leather, I mean leather on a speaker. It has the leather, like I say, around the driver housing. Um, and the attention to detail and the shape, just the finish alone, I do, I mean, with the curvature, it swoops around the back beautifully. 
and the shape and just the sheer size and the way it looks. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the way it looks. It might be one of those Marmite sort of situations where you either love it or you hate it. And I'm, I'm a big fan. I love it. Absolutely love this speaker. The look of it, the design of it just screams high end. Now, on that, these are not a cheap speaker. Um, these are actually, I think they retail at the moment for seven and a half thousand pounds um, as, a, as a stand mount as they come with the pair. Now, again, not cheap, but God, do you get what you pay for? Do you get what you pay for with these speakers? Give a big shout out to Audio Lounge Leicester that have lent me this pair of speakers. I mean, I'm a very small YouTube channel uh, and I'm trying to get established. I'm trying to get a portfolio together with speakers. The seven and a half thousand pound speaker on a channel of my size, it's a, you know what I mean? It's a fantastic thing for me to be able to do. And for hopefully for you to enjoy as well. So, I mean, just look at them. I mean, what do you think? Do you love them or do you hate them? Now they're also, they're bi-wireable and bi-ampable. And they've got lovely, big, chunky binding posts on the back. Um, and they're tight and they're, when you, when I was putting the banana plugs in, uh, I use banana plugs, they're nice and tight, but they're that smooth tight. You know, you just think, oh wow, these, these are a higher end speaker. Don't get me wrong, most of the speakers are slight and it's fine. It just gives you this, it's just a bit bizarre when you think, oh, it was sort of like the perfect resistance. I know it's just banana plugs, but it was sort of like this perfect, oh, that's, that's tight, but smooth. And I just thought I'd mention it. What Hi-Fi give these five stars? They can't praise these enough, and I can absolutely see why. At the moment, I'm running them with the Icon uh, Stereo 40. But when I first got them, I ran them with the SA10. And I was, I mean, it's only a 700 pound amplifier, and it shouldn't pair up with these, and I know I should be doing tests with these, but I just had to get them on my channel. And they said, do you want them? I said, absolutely, I want to try a pair of these. I may not have the best kit, and there's probably people out there saying, oh my God, an Icon SA10, that's rubbish compared. But that's what I've got access to, and like I say, with the Icon amp as well. But even with the SA10, I was absolutely blown away by these. Absolutely blown away with the sound stage, the imaging, the sheer, the sound that comes from these speakers. It's big, it's wide. The bass, I've not heard bass like this before. The bass that can come from these is super, super low. I mean, it's 33 hertz with the bass. But it's this, there's absolutely no bloat to it at all. I mean, when I say bloat, it's like, blah, 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 blah. I hate, I can sort of image it where I can see it. I can visually see the sound in my head when you've got a bloated speaker and it's just, blah, and it's rolling. This bass is just uncontrolled and rolling across your lounge somewhere. But these, these get low and they get super, they're super thick. It's this depth, the, the density to the bass that comes out of these is just super smooth. And the way it, it's fast responsive and it keeps up with everything that I've thrown at it, but it's not boo, 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 it's And the way that this sound, it's low frequency sound, it's controlled. And the detail it's got within this bass, it just feels wonderful. And it fit with the 360 degree port at the bottom, it's firing this beautiful bass everywhere and filling your room with it and it, like I say it's so controlled yet it's so low and thick and dense and you can in certain tracks you have this sort of you can feel it do you remember I don't know if people remember this but back in the 90s and it used to have a guy in a chair similar to this and he'd be sitting there and they'd turn this TXA, THX system on and he'd be, he'd be like flying back and then his hair would be, I mean, unfortunately I haven't got any hair, but his hair would be flying back and he'd be like that. And that's, I had that image. I was just listening to these, I was listening to a certain track and boom, this bass and this sound comes out and it hits you and you feel it and you think, oh my God. And like that image, like I say, that THX image from the 90s popped into my head and I thought, oh my, I know what that guy felt like now. Well, I, he didn't because he was had fans and stuff, but... It is astonishing what this bookshelf speaker will produce. Now I'm sitting about two and a half meters away. It's a similar distance. It literally where the camera is now, my chair is just behind there, about a foot behind the camera tripod. Um, and this and the imaging. Oh my god, the imaging. The imaging, you get you can get good imaging on a lot of speakers. I've got some F500s, fine audio F500s myself, and I love the imaging on them. The center imaging is very good. And you can tell where the sort of the instruments are. 
you know, you can tell that it's about here or about here. These, these are pinpoint. This is, that's where the guy's mouth is, you know? That's where the, the guy's hand is playing the guitar. You can literally pick out every single point of where the instruments are, these, with ease. Absolute ease. I've got a 13 year old son. I said, have a, come have a listen to these. And he was blown away. And he was, I said, where's this guitar coming from? Where's the vocal singer? Where's the drums? Where's the, where's the trumpet? Where's the saxophone? And he, you can literally just point. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a start. And the separation. Oh, the separation. The separation for me is layered. Now, when I say layered, separation, separation, you can hear the differences, you know, there's no, they're not mushed together. And they're not on mushy speaker. Good God, these are not mushy. But, you get the separation from speakers where obviously you can tell that they're separate separation of a guitar and, a, and, and, and drums and whatever else and electronica and bass and everything's separate. These, they have like a layer. They have like an air gap. So you have your strings, air gap layer. Then you have your drums, air gap layer. Everything is so separate. It sounds like you've got Five different speakers. It sounds like you've got the F500s yeah, like mine, for instance. The final F500, you've got a speaker here. That's just doing your drums. You've got a speaker here, just doing the guitar riff. You've got then a speaker here, that's then doing the vocals. And then a speaker here, saxophone. That is the separation. Just saxophone coming out of this speaker. Just vocals coming out of this one. Just guitar out of this one. Just drums out of that one. And that separation, you're thinking, oh my God, I've not heard that before. And I appreciate good separation, but the way that these could achieve it is incredible. Air gaps, like I say, air gaps, there's your thing, air gap, there's that. They're completely 100% separate from each other. There's no contact with the instruments in any track that I tried. The other good quality, I mean, fantastic quality, that I've not, I'm not used to, again, small channel, um, is that um, on my F500s, I have to, it's literally on my Arcam SA10 amp, I call it level 42, the old band and all that sort of stuff. But I have to have my amp at level 42 to get the sweetest sound out of those speakers. And they do sing and they, they are the best at that level. So pushing that amount of power, that amount of volume is what gets them to sing at their best sort of positioning on that amp. So they come alive at level 42 on my SA10. But these have that musicality, the tonal richness, the, the excited dynamics, they have all that at low volumes. You don't need to crank these up. There is no level 42 with these. They always sound that good. Don't get me wrong, when you get them louder, that bass can kick you in the face and I absolutely loved it. I was listening to a certain track Marshin, Marchin is a new guy. My, my actual son found him. He does strings and he uses his actually own his his own guitar and hands to make the percussion and uh, and the, and the bass line. And this song, I've got, I'll, I'm I'm actually going to put it on. I'll get copyright strike, but I need to put this song on with these speakers. And I sat back in my chair. So I got over my chair. I sat back with this strings track, and it was building. And you can hear the separation, you can hear all this stuff. And all of a sudden, boom, this string, this sort of twang of a sound flew round to the side of me. Right round to the side of me. And I thought, oh my God. And I, I got my son down just to see if it was me, just to have a listen, because he loves this sort of stuff as well. Especially, this is very new to both of us. This sort of, this seven and a half thousand pound high end. So I got him to sit down and I just wanted to see if he heard what I heard. And instantly he looked round like that. What the? And this sound stage. It was like having a surround sound system. It was like having speakers to the side of you. But obviously you haven't. And this atmospheric sort of ambiance, the, it just creates this bubble of beautiful sound and airy, but th it's so hard to explain. The experience, it's an experience. It's a listening experience. So like I say, I'm sitting on the chair and this strings are building up and they're building up and they're building up and it's like a tidal wave and this wave's forming and you can see it forming in front of you thinking, oh, something good's coming, something good's coming. You're sitting in your chair and you're, you think, oh, come on, hit the good bit and it's building, it's building, the strings are and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and all of a sudden, the bass line hits and this wave crashes down at you and it like hits you like, what? And I've never, 
ever experienced that from a speaker before. This wave of sound hits you and you can feel it within your chest when the bass kicks in. And the build up and the, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal speaker. I cannot praise this enough. And I wonder what Hi-Fi gave this five stars. Now I've been checking on the website and on Fine Audio website, I've actually uh, looked into these quite a lot. Uh, they've actually got two pixies and three fairies built within this speaker because something like, magical is happening within this case. I can tell you that now. <laughs> Maybe not fairies or pixies, but wow. Wow. This, again, I've not experienced, I've not heard bass like that before. This is a completely different type of bass that these are producing from what I'm used to, what I've reviewed before. Um, the clarity, the crispness, the clearness, it does everything perfectly in my opinion. Now I cannot wait to get a speaker on the channel that beats these. What a day that will be. Because these I need a pair of these speakers. I cannot now, knowing that these exist, I cannot now go back to listening to my other fine audio speakers. I mean, I'm not going to be wrong, I'm going to have to. There's seven and a half thousand pounds. But my God, when you experience something like this, get yourself down to Audio Lounge Leicester or somewhere local to you. I'll leave a link below for Audio Lounge and just experience the sound that I've experienced from these speakers. I am definitely gonna put, obviously, a sound test on of these speakers. I normally do the same 11 tracks so you can sort of get a, a general, a guide of what speakers sound like so you can compare them to one another with the same 11 tracks, which I'll do. I will put these on with those 11 tracks, but I'm also gonna put on that string, that string track that just, I, a smile on your face, oh my God. My, it was beaming. I lined up my whole family so we get one massive long smile because of how good these are. The, I just, I can't try to explain them. My ears were hugging me. Like, thank you. They were just so happy with the sound that these can produce. Like I say, from the stats alone, from the specs, the 33 hertz to 34,000 hertz, they're a full range speaker. The, the highs are so good. They're so, what's the word? On, on certain tracks, the airiness and the, and the, the sound stage and the, the imaging, you could just feel like you could pick it out. That symbol, the, the decay on symbols just kept going. And you felt like the symbol started here, because again, it's pinpoint accuracy with this, this imaging. So the symbol hits here, ting, and then you can sort of, excuse me, I want to spell the speaker. And they hit this symbol, and it goes ting, and, it, and the decay, you can hear it, just float across that way. It was here, and the sound like floats across there. And I'm sitting there thinking, what? And I've heard a track a thousand times, and it gave me goosebumps. I thought, oh my God, that was, what? wait, what? I've not heard that symbol before. So I ran, it, I ran it back again. I skipped it back. And it went ping. And again, it gave me the goosebumps. I was like, what? I've not heard. I've heard tracks a lot. I've said in all of my other videos, most of my other speaker videos, I listen to the same tracks, but I was hearing things I've never heard before with these. Now, <laughs> there's always a downside to a speaker. Now, this is a it's a downside, but it's not a bad downside. But the thing the, the, <laughs> the thing about them is, if you put a bad track, a poor track, poorly produced track through it, or it's not a very well made record, this will tear it apart. This will pick out every single fault within that track and it will throw it right out at you. It really will. Um, and that is a downside. But when you get when you pair it up with a good sounding track or very well produced track, oh my god, this experience that you're getting from them is just phenomenally good. These are an experience. These are they're an addictive speaker. I found myself upstairs. It's late at night, thinking I'm just going to have a quick listen. One more quick listen. I just want to try this track. So it physically got me up out of bed because they were on my mind because they're in the house and I haven't got them for long. So I just want to get as much time with these as possible. So I get out of bed, be about half 12 at night. As I said before, you can, I don't know why I'm quiet. It's not, it's not half 12 now. I don't know why I'm lowering my voice. <laughs> so it's half 12, I sneak down. Because you can listen to these again. They have that same sort of musicality, the same everything 
just at lower volumes and everything sort of stays. It doesn't reduce anything and it's absolutely bizarre to me. Again, I have to hit level 42 on my amp to get mine to come alive. These just sound good all the time. So again, addictive. I kept coming down. I kept bringing myself back into the lounge. I wanted to try this track. Let's try this. Let's try that. Because everything sounds different. You're just getting more of the track that you've heard a thousand times. I can't. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's frustrating. I need to think of more things to say. More words. So I can explain this sort of sound stage, like you've got a surround sound system. Things are whipping to the side of you. This wave, like I say, I mean, I said about the tidal wave earlier. Now picture that tidal wave. And that tidal wave is full. It's got a drummer in it. And it's got the, the it's got the, the vocalists and it's got the singer in there. And it's got the saxophone in there. And it's got the guitarist in there. And it's got, and they're all coming up. And they're all literally chucked at you. And it's just, wah! String singing, oh my god, what? <laughs> I think that's the best way I can describe these speakers. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I haven't got them for too much longer. I wanted to do a quick, I mean, I don't even want to class this as a review. Um, I want to put them down as maybe a quick look. Um, I need to spend weeks with these. I need to spend, so I can get a proper review. They warrant so much more than what I can tell you. Um, they're so much better than me, if that makes sense. They're better than this channel. I know I shouldn't really say that about my own channel, but they deserve so much more praise than I'm sort of giving them. Um, and I'm sad for that, and I, and I will get better. Uh, as a YouTuber, and I will get more vocabulary. I will get better at explaining things. I need to do more research. I need to listen to more stuff. But the best way for me to describe things is, like I say, with the THX chair and the woohoo and the waves and these things being thrown at you. Music, these instruments feel like they're being thrown at you. Like I say, it's just uh, emotional. When, they, when you hear a good singer, speaking of emotion, when you hear a great vocalist, like on London Grammar, it sort of portrays what she's feeling. You can sort of get a sense of what she's singing about. And you think, what? And you think, and, and if it's sort of like a slower song and it's a heartbreak song and they've, and they've lost their love and you start of like, you get this. You can like pick up on that from their vocals, from these speakers. And you start to get sad. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe she, he did what to her? So he's left his girlfriend Right? He's been with her for 17 years, and now he's got, and, it, and that sort of emotion comes through from her vocals and her pain and her voice. And oh my God, what speaker does that? Honestly, what speaker does that? The, these do. And the, I just, they're not a speaker, like I say, check their website out. Three fairies, two pixies, because there's some freaking magic going on. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it is. And one day, I'm going to promise the YouTube world here. One day, I'm going to own a pair of these speakers. I promise you now, I need to save up. I'm going to start saving now. Don't get me wrong, it'll take me about six years. It'll take me about six years to save for these. But I will 100% have a pair of these on this channel one day that I can call my own. They are that good and I cannot go back. Um, I know, obviously, I'm going to use my F500s. They're absolutely, f I, I think they're a fan. At the price point of 850, they're a phenomenally good speaker. And I will have to use those because I don't have the money for these. But one day, I promise, I will get a pair of these speakers. I mean, I've got a background for hi-fi throughout the years. I mean, I was, like I've said in many videos before, it was all sort of tannoy, B&W, all that sort of stuff, affordable. This higher end range is brand new to me. And that's such a good journey. It's so nice. I mean, the experience. I had no idea speakers can sound like this. Now, everyone says that, you know, you get what you pay for. And that is 100% true with these. You, re I've not. These are just woo. Oh. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They can sound better. They will sound better on a more higher performance amplifier. I get that. I know that. And I think they're a little bit wasted. Like I said before, being on my channel, because I haven't got this portfolio and I haven't got a garage full of all these amps and different speakers to test it against. I don't have that luxury. I don't get paid for this. I don't get paid for anything like this on YouTube. No one's sending me stuff apart from Audio Lounge Lester. And thank God for them for introducing me to these. And I will leave a link in the description below for Audio Lounge Lester. 
because wow, they sort of up in my channel for me. This sort of a quality speaker, again, may be wasted on my channel, but hopefully one day we'll get there where I'll revisit these when they're my own. I'm gonna do another review when the, I, I own them. <laughs> hopefully one day. Right, I'm just gonna go. This was just a quick look. Um, wasn't necessarily a review. Like I say, I don't know if I've got that about me. I can't do a review on these justice, but I just wanted to give you an insight, a look in at what these potentially could sound like for you in your home with the waves and the THX and the, you know what I mean? So I wanna just thank you so much for watching. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.